FIFA 3 have recently confirmed that Halo Infinite will have a free-to-play multiplayer, and we already know that there will be no paid loot boxes. But how will they monetize the game? Well, thank you, random viewer, for asking. To answer this very important question, I'm going to split the video into three segments. The first one will be the worst case scenario, the second one will be the best case scenario, and the scenario I personally hope for if they're going to monetize the game beyond just selling you DLC and stuff like that. And then the last scenario will be the most likely one. Worst case scenario, it could go two different ways. A, Free for Free didn't pay any attention to what happened with Battlefront 2 in 2018. And they include loot boxes and stuff in just some absolutely abhorrent way, like a FIFA Ultimate Team or something. All your customization is directly tied to how much money you waft into the slot machine, how much money you just fan to Bill Gates. And option B is they come up with some new thing that is just even worse than slot machines. Now, option B, that's just never going to happen. E even EA and Activision would never do something like that. I mean, chiefly because they're too lazy, I suppose, but, you know. And then option A is also very unlikely to happen because 343 have said that uh, there will be no paid loot boxes and the whole thing that happened in 2018 with Star Wars Battlefront 2 and world governments, world leaders were like looking at this and and trying to work out whether or not this is uh, gambling targeted at children, which is still ongoing, you know, these investigations are still ongoing. So Microsoft would lose a lot of money if Halo, the chief selling point of their console, which is banned everywhere unless some executive decides it's time to buy a new yacht the worst case scenario won't happen you could breathe a sigh of relief now i want to make this extremely clear for the best case scenario this is my pick of the lesser of two evils preferably there would be no microtransactions in video games whatsoever you just buy the game a wee bit of dlc that's it but if an executive had a gun pointed at my head and was just like, design a monetization scheme, <laughs> you know, I, this is how I'd do it. And I'd basically copy Titanfall 2. Now what Titanfall 2 did, which was so great, is it was a discreet little button in the customization menu. Here's the skins for all the Titans. And these were like unique skins, you know, you couldn't get them anywhere else. Just give us three quid and here you go. Simple as that. That is the best way to do it. Now, the way it differs from a, an item shop, because technically that's what it is, it's just it's just an item shop. But the way it's different is because item shops, the way they lay out is to put emphasis on this particular shiny that costs more than the other lesser shinies. And the, the how much it costs is displayed by this fake currency. Now, what the problem with fake currency is you don't have any actual value on how much this fake currency costs as soon as you spend your money on it. It devalues the amount of money it actually costs to buy the skin. That's what fake currency does. But anyways, a little side tangent over. Unfortunately, that's not the most likely scenario. The most likely scenario is it's just Fortnite. It's just what they did do in Fortnite, which I think is a real, real shame, to be frank. But that is unfortunately what I reckon it would be, in, in my opinion. It's up for debate whether or not you'd have to buy a battle pass, since the only one in MCC is free, but unfortunately, most likely, there will be a battle pass in it to some capacity. This battle pass, I mean, most likely, I reckon it would be free, but you could buy tiers, perhaps, or they're just lazy and just have a battle pass as the progression system. And if free for free, you're listening to this. You're an employee. By some miracle, your uh, your your chief progression system, you're the head of progression systems. You know, you're the big progression system man. Do something creative, even if it's just a linear line. You know, a linear bar that fills up from doing stuff that gives you XP. Even that is just so much more rewarding them manually going through and unlocking with tear points or whatever the, the stupid thing's called to get a helmet or whatever. It's just so much more rewarding for the player to just see that automatically happen, that bar just extend. Yeah, most likely it's going to be Halo bucks, you know, rec points. 
you spend this amount of money to buy a thousand wreck points and you can buy yourself, I don't know, higher booster. And, and that's the other point. Um, most likely stuff that people would want, like higher booster, would be the stuff in the item shop. You're not going to get the really cool stuff from previous games, most likely, like Mark V, well I suppose that's objective on my side, but you know, all the cooler helmet that's come out of Halo over the years is going to be dumped into this item shop, which I think is a real shame. But you know, that's just what my opinion, what I think will happen, so... I'm doing finger guns right now. What do you think? Comment down below and best comment gets a like. Actually all comments get a like. I'm, I'm, I hand out likes quite a lot with comments. But hey, if you like the video, like it. If you want to see more, subscribe. And on the top left, since we're talking about battle passes, there's my video on a Halo Battle Royale. So, check it out.